trying to run, trying to look all prissy. Run! Look at it, y'all. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Pick them feet up, pick them up, put them down. I see y'all, y'all better not be cheating over here. Put in the chest, put in the chest. Put in the chest, Amari. Oh, five, woo, you worked him. He's doing five push-ups because he dropped the ball. Get that chest in there. Good. All the way around, all the way around. You doing good, Oscar. No, you doing it. Anybody want to come out here and continue to fight COVID, internal diseases, mental diseases, emotional diseases, traumatic setbacks, come on out here to the Richmond Marina. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Excuse me, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 4.30 p.m. to 5.30, 5.45. If we need a private session, a one-on-one -on -one session, contact Motivated Help Others on the Instagram, the YouTube, the Facebook. We all over the place. Look at Keisha right here. Get your hands off your hips. Yes. Excuse me. How you feel about Motivated Help Others? Like I can't breathe. You tell, so you telling the world you can't breathe right now. I don't like the sound of that. That's okay if they come out here and run, they probably feel the same way. Do you like it? Yep. How you feel about self-improvement? I think it keeps me motivated. Especially getting me out of the house. Being around people. What about during this time of the COVID? When everybody is emotional, stress, and doing a bit of stress, doing all type of internal factors, especially for women. What can you tell women? We know we talk, I know we talk about men all the time, but women need things to talk about, need things to get off their chest, especially at these trying times when all these kids dying, getting shot, brutally raped, you know, and uh and uh, they're victims. Put it like that. Women are victims of so many circumstances, unfortunately. Well, I say help as well. And whatever God got in store for us, he got in store for us, and we can't even uh, get around it. I mean, I've been out here. I work in the medical field. I'm going to work every day. Hey, I'm still healthy. haven't had COVID yet, or not that I know of. So, so, so what would you tell a parent, what would you tell a mom about encouraging their kids, about instead of just sitting on the couch eating anything, but to get up and do something positive? Especially when you got this virtual school that's not really helping the kids. I tell them to get out, get your kids moving, you get moving, way diseases that come on hard to get off. And once you start getting too much on, it creates health issues. So either way it go, either COVID's gonna get you, or you're gonna get up and get healthy and uh, have the immune system to fight against whatever disease, whether it's COVID or something else. That is nice. Absolutely. So I got one last question. You have so many kids that are implementing, following the footsteps of their parents. So in, so in regards of parenting and leadership, a lot of times the kids get the wrong impression between a mom, a dad, and a friend. How do you differentiate those three? I mean, well, those two. I mean, I think that your, your parents are your leaders. They're your guidance counselor. They're the ones that actually mold you to be the person that you are. I always tell my kids, be a better version of me. Um, you want to be healthy. You want your kids to have a long life. You got to get out there and exercise. You got to eat right. So it's you know, family that stays together, prays together. Same thing with exercise. So what about education? Now, do you still help your kids um, with schooling and things of that nature? Well, I don't think it ever stops, but yes, I do. So I have a daughter that's in college and yeah.
Whenever she needs something, she always refers to me. So I guess learning for us is never over. So, yeah, I mean, the and that's true. It never should stop. But unfortunately, it does stop for some parents or some kids. Because we have a lot of parents who don't school their kids. They I, don't. I'm not going to say it stops because we have to wonder if it ever started. Because if it was already embedded in them, it never stops. What, what, what if the parent what if the, being a parent? What if the parent went astray just said, okay, my child is now 18 years old or running the streets or doing whatever they're doing, so I'm going to stop trying to teach them? What you say about something like that? Because it happens. I mean, I think they get frustrated. I don't think that they should stop teaching the kid or talking to the kid because it's... I mean, my son said one thing to me. He acted like he never listened to me, but then he got into a situation and he said... Uh, you told me you think that I don't be listening to you, but I do listen to you. So they listen. And how'd that make so you just feel? Don't stop. I mean, I felt good because he actually chose the right path in that situation. So we just have to keep teaching our kids and better them. And there we have actually, it. Actually, the teachers. And there we have it. Motivated to help others. Another session from a from a proud parent. And what's your name? Keisha. All right.